have you ever wondered how the fluctuating home prices, mortgage rates, and inventory levels will influence housing affordability in the near future? As we gear up for the next year, these factors have the potential to make or break the dream of home ownership for many. What direction will these trends take us? What is causing the decline in existing home sales even though home prices have remained steady throughout the year? The latest data from the National Association of Realtors reveals that the volume of home sales has significantly decreased, with October 2023 recording an annual pace of only 3.96 million sales, a staggering 15.4% decline compared to the previous year. Yet there may be some hope for the housing market in 2024 if mortgage rates drop. Could the current market conditions be due to external factors such as economic uncertainty or a shift in buyer preferences? Or is there a more profound underlying issue in the housing industry? And before I reveal how the U.S. housing market will be a disaster in 2024, please take two seconds to help me out and hit the like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. Each like and subscribe is fuel for the algorithm that helps support this channel. Thank you. Now, back to what I was saying. The year 2023 saw a notable surge in mortgage rates that nearly doubled and unfortunately, they've remained high. The Federal Reserve is partially responsible for this due to its effort to battle inflation. Although the Fed cannot dictate mortgage rates, mortgage lenders monitor their actions closely and adjust their rates accordingly. As a result, whenever the Federal Reserve System, the Fed, hikes up their rates, mortgage rates tend to follow suit. This trend continued consistently throughout the year, leading to current rates that have been consistently high. The Federal Reserve System's battle against inflation is making headlines, and it seems it could possibly end soon. However, what does this mean for those in the market for a new home? The new normal is one of higher rates that will continue to pummel buyers well into 2024. If you're hoping for a reprieve, it may not be coming anytime soon. While a sharp economic downturn could bring mortgage rates lower, the reality is that this would have a noticeable impact on home price appreciation. So what does this mean for the average American family? Unfortunately, it's looking to be a difficult time for anyone who's been waiting for the perfect moment to purchase a home. Experts predict that home price appreciation will be modest at best, likely hovering at a low to mid single digit pace. With both mortgage rates and home prices soaring, prospective sellers and buyers alike are uncertain about the best course of action. As of November 2023, the median sale price for an existing home in the United States was an astonishing $394,300. This comes with a three-month streak of continual year-over-year -year price increases. To make matters worse, the 30-year mortgage interest rate currently sits at an average of 7.69% as of early November. Though we've thankfully come down from the peaks above 8%, we still face staggeringly high rates not seen in over two decades. Many people are looking for the best time to buy or sell their homes and are concerned about fluctuations in mortgage rates. The good news is that according to the National Association of Realtors Chief Economist Lawrence Yun, we're about to see a surge of buyers and sellers entering the market in the near future. With declining mortgage rates, Americans will have a great chance to make their property dreams come true. Young predicted that sales may even increase by up to 15% next year, making it the perfect time for sellers to put their homes on the market and buyers to take advantage of lower rates. However, the story doesn't end there. Chen Zhao, the leader of the economics team at Redfin, suggests that although housing sales are likely to increase next year, rates will likely remain above 6%. This means that while not dramatic, the rise in sales may still be somewhat steady. According to Selma Hep, chief economist at CoreLogic, there's good news on the horizon. Lower mortgage rates are expected to boost home sales activity in 2024 compared to the previous year. But what does this mean for you specifically? If you're looking to sell your home, you may be in luck. With the decline in mortgage rates, more potential buyers will have the means to purchase a home, which in turn increases demand. This can lead to more sellers willing to trade in their existing homes, meaning more inventory on the market and a higher likelihood of successful transactions. And for those looking to buy, this news is equally exciting. With more inventory and sellers eager to make a sale, you may find better options and more competitive prices. It's a win-win situation for both buyers and sellers. Now comes a question. Will housing inventory increase? 
The numbers speak for themselves, as the total number of homes for sale as of September this year was a mere 1.13 million units, compared to 1.23 million last year. And that's a staggering 8.1% decline. This means buyers have to fight over fewer homes, which can lead to bidding wars and prices being driven up. However, it's not just buyers facing problems. The number of homes available also impacts sellers with fewer options to list their properties. Adding fuel to the fire, the 3.4 month supply is far beyond the balanced market range of five to six months, indicating a lack of new constructions to meet the rising demand. The impact of this shortfall is magnified when one considers the squeeze on would-be home buyers who have plenty of reasons to get into the market, including low interest rates, mortgage incentives, and remote working arrangements. In light of this, this constrained inventory is a worrying trend that can hamper economic growth in the long run. To improve inventory levels, we need to see either a significant surge in homeowners listing their existing properties or a massive influx of new construction homes hitting the market. Let's be honest, both options seem relatively unlikely at this point. However, there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon. According to expert economist Yun, we can expect to see some increases in housing inventory by 2024. Of course, this won't solve the problem overnight, but it's good news nonetheless. Yun predicts that there will be more home construction, which is desperately needed, and existing homeowners will be more willing to sell their homes and move on. It's also worth noting that there's an additional factor contributing to the inventory shortage, low mortgage rates. Many homeowners are hesitant to sell their homes because they're locked into low rates that they know they won't be able to get again if they buy a new home. But as time goes on and rates start to climb, homeowners may decide to make a move. The current state of the market is not in favor of buyers, and the skyrocketing mortgage rates have further aggravated it. Reports suggest that the average interest rate for a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is sitting above 8%, making it challenging for first-time buyers and even seasoned homeowners to make ends meet. The Federal Reserve's latest move to increase the benchmark rate has seriously offended prospective buyers. It's likely if the trend continues, we might see further upheaval in the mortgage rates, which could eventually lead to a drop in the housing prices. With the current state of the real estate market, it is high time that we take a comprehensive look at the whole process of buying a home. From exploring different financial options to identifying the best interest rates available, there's a lot that we need to consider before jumping into a purchase. While experts predict a few rate cuts in 2024, things could easily shift depending on how inflation behaves. In fact, the Federal Reserve has already begun to raise rates in response to growing inflation, with September 2023 seeing a rate of 3.7%. Even though this is an improvement compared to the worst of the inflationary period, it's still not quite at the target rate of 2%. What does this mean for the average person? Well, if inflation continues to get worse, we could see a rate hike that might catch some folks off guard. On the other hand, if inflation cools down, we might see a rate cut instead. It's hard to say for sure, but keeping an eye on inflation trends and staying informed about the Fed's decisions can help you make smart choices about managing your finances. Unfortunately, not many people know what they can do to tackle these problems and prepare themselves for the coming months. This situation cannot be taken lightly, and experts believe it may lead to a catastrophe worse than the 2008 global financial crisis. Some voices even say that this may take us back in time and cause a situation similar to the Great Depression of 1929, which lasted for 10 long years. During that period, more than 10 million Americans lost their homes to foreclosure, and the number of states with rising jobless claims were abysmally high. There's no way to overlook the fact that the signs point towards an impending recession. According to the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas, signs of a brewing U.S. housing bubble could have serious consequences. They've warned that people buying homes due to fear of missing out may cause prices to rise beyond reasonable levels, leading to unrealistic expectations of consistent and substantial house price gains. However, there's no consensus among experts regarding the state of the U.S. housing market. While some are sounding the alarm, others are more optimistic. Len Kiefer, the deputy chief economist at Freddie Mac, notes three defining characteristics of a housing bubble. Speculation-driven price growth, credit expansion fueling bubbles, and eventual bubble pop. Len argues that the recent price growth in the U.S. housing market was not solely driven by speculation or credit expansion, as many experts suggest. 
Rather, he claims several other fundamental reasons behind the recent price surge. These reasons include record low mortgage rates and a fundamental shift in housing demand, which has led to an overall increase in the housing demand and subsequently increased prices. So while the U.S. housing market may be experiencing price surges, it's not yet on the verge of a bubble. Thanks for watching and please make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment below letting me know what you think can be done to prevent the upcoming housing crash.